Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha! Welcome back, Keyboard Warriors. Today, you're gonna watch me as I attempt to disassemble my slide on my G43X, poke around in the internals a bit and see what's going on. Maybe it just needs a thorough cleaning. And we are clear, 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 still clear. Nothing in there. I'm most likely gonna be getting a bit dirty, so. Oh, All right, first, take the spring out. Taking my barrel out. So this right here, what you see, this is pretty much the furthest I've gone as far as this assembly whenever I clean it. So everything after this, it's kind of new territory for me. Now, because we live in a modern age, I did look up a couple of DIYs and they made them look pretty simple. So I'm gonna try to attempt this without cocking it up too much, but I'm sure you guys will let me know what I did wrong because that's how the two-way community is. First thing I'm gonna attempt to do is remove this little back plate right now. If I remember correctly, I'm supposed to press down either on this collar that's in here or on this itself to relieve the tension off the plate while I try to slide it off, keeping a thumb over this little hole to prevent the, uh, the plunger and spring and the plunger spring from shooting out. That sounds about right. So, just down on that. I'm gonna slide, oop. Oh, that was easy. Plunger and spring, <laughs> shot out. I'm gonna slide the back plate off, keeping my thumb over this still, because I'm not sure if a bunch of crap's gonna come shooting out. Nope. All right, back plate, let's leave that here. Now I'm gonna slide all of this internal witchcraft and sorcery out of here. Oh, my annoying neighbor and his piece of shit Mustang. Correct me if I'm wrong, gun guys. Uh, striker? Striker pin? Plunger comes out. Now with the plunger out, I should be able to remove the extractor by pressing down on this, this doodad right here. Oh, I can see the comments now. Oh, there we go. There we go. I shall extract the extractor. Set that right there. Now with the extractor out, I should be able to remove this doodad, which has a spring behind it. Okay, now, if, oh my gosh, it's not even focused. Now, this doodad has two concaved sides. One side is concaved with a slight chip. This side faces to the inside of the slide. The side that's concaved only faces to the outside of the slide. That's, that's all there is to it. Cool. So as I'm, right now, as I'm shooting this, all I'm thinking is, wow, this is gonna be one boring video. Like even me right here physically doing this, this is some boring junk. I couldn't imagine anyone actually watching this. So upon closer inspection, yo, this doesn't even look bad. Not that I know what a bad one looks like. Have you guys take a look at the extractor. That way, if you guys see anything that looks out of place, this camera will not focus. Sweet Jesus. Focus camera. Focus. Focus. Yeah, the extractor looks fine. There's like, obviously, a little bit of wear right here and a little bit of wear right there. I'm assuming that's normal. Plunger and spring. Nothing looks damaged. Even the little bearing on the end, that looks fine also. This entire striker assembly, I believe it was. I'm I'm not they taking this thing apart. I'm nah, nah, son. Doing this without the proper tools kinda sucks, huh? I will not be attempting that. I go, is this is this plastic? Gone guys. So from what I'm seeing, this piece here feels like plastic. So does this little collar area. Is this joint plastic? And the more I learn about guns, the more I'm, the more disappointed I am. Kind of sad. Yeah, what else? I'm gonna give this a quick once over. 
So honestly, tearing this down, I was expecting to find like a, a metric shit ton of carbon buildup and all this gunk and junk, but that's yeah, not the case at all. It actually doesn't look too bad in here. Clean that up. Oh, I took the spring out. Spring back in. Give this a once over. And even the back plate, why not? Plastic with the metal insert. Man, that's really disappointing. Using my handy dandy cleaning tool, AKA flat tip screwdriver. I'm gonna make sure I'm getting inside of these rails. This is what I normally do anyway when I clean it, so I'm not expecting to find a huge bunch of carbon buildup. Oh, don't scratch it. Can't have that metal on metal violence. Now, I kinda wanna get whatever junk may be in here. I just wanna see how much junk comes out of here. That's it, that's not bad. I expected worse. Boom. Guys, chime in below of what I should be using. What type of CLP do you guys use? Also, what do you use for your cleaning kit? Each of these little items will get its own little swab as I give them the business. That way I'm not just using one dirty swab, essentially smearing the dirt from item to item. I hate when shit's not dress right dress and I have to work on it, it kind of bugs me. All right, that's somewhat in order, I guess. Gonna hit this a little bit. Oh, so much for a little bit. I'm probably wrong for doing this. Right now, people are smashing away at the keyboards. Like, what is this idiot doing? He's gonna ruin his weapon. He doesn't deserve that gun. That's why your shit's messed up right now. So, you know what I'm thinking of getting? <laughs> I've been considering getting a sonic cleaner. This way I can do all this, just break it down, toss it in the sonic cleaner, and walk away. This really doesn't need a brushing. I know people are losing their shit right now. They're like, oh my god, he's gonna ruin that, that slide. You can't put the wire brush, you can't put the bore brush down inside the guts of the slide. You're gonna ruin it. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? What is he doing? How dare he? He's gonna ruin that firearm. That's not bad, right? Get all that junk out of there. Get in through here. Give it a little swizzy swazzy around. That way, if there, if there was any residue in here, I've certainly gotten it. This doodad with its spring. I set the spring right there. Make sure he's nice and cleaned off. You know what, guys? I am convinced. I am definitely, definitely going to invest in a small sonic cleaner. I think it's worth it, considering that I run my 43X the most out of all my handguns. It gets a fair amount of use, and I wanna keep it clean in tip-top shape. Boom. Okay, put the spring back in. I didn't give this thing a lot of attention in there. Putting the spring and this doohickey back into the slide. Clean off the extractor. I'm gonna have to apologize to you guys because the autofocus on this, it's not doing me any favors. Like right now, instead of focusing on this, I can clearly see it's focused like on the background. It's focused on the barrel, it's focused on the slide, it's focused on the cleaning kit, it's focused on everything down. Meow. Focus, focus. Ah, there it is. There it is. Man, that took some doing. Wow, that took some doing. Keep this depressed. Oh, there we go. See that little nipple sticking out? I believe that goes in here. And, oh, the plunger. This is almost as exciting as watching paint dry. See this little plastic bearing? This side is facing the back. The all metal side goes in first. Like so. There we go. Cool. Now. Wipe up the uh, striker and all its giblets. Finish this off with the money shot towel. Put the striker pin assembly back into the slide. Like so. 
clean off the back plate. I'm gonna attempt this without embarrassing myself too much, but too late, huh? Press that down. Oh, get in your hole, that's your home. Right, slide that up a bit. Boom. And now, push this plunger in, which will allow me to slide the back plate all the way on. Let's clean up this um, spring a bit. Because for all I know, this was the culprit right here. Gonna put the barrel back into the slide. Recoil spring back in. <laughs> the marriage between slide and frame. Seems fine. I'm gonna have to start using my snap caps. I have them, but I've, I don't mess with them as much as I should. I now know how to break down the slide on my G43X. All this witchcraft inside the frame, that's gonna be a class for another time. Hope you guys enjoyed this boring video. Peace and chicken grease. Hey!